buried deep in the ice of the most isolated part of Greenland, lies the remains of a secret American scientific research station called Camp Century, built in the late 1950s. So why is it still being monitored today? In the late 1950s, America was involved in an arms race with Russia. As Cold War relations intensified, the United States was looking for a way to be able to launch a nuclear strike more quickly and effectively. The American government told the world that the sole purpose for Camp Century was to conduct advanced scientific polar research, but newly declassified documents now reveal its true purpose. Camp Century was one of the most elaborate cover stories in the history of the Cold War. Its true identity? Project Iceworm. The U.S. Army Brain Trust calculated that they could launch a nuclear attack on Russia from Greenland in half the time it would take from the American mainland. Project Iceworm's ultimate objective was to build a military launch site hidden under the ice, big enough that it could house 600 nuclear missiles, all aimed at Moscow. But it never happened. The only nuclear device that ever made it to Greenland was the reactor that powered the camp itself. Why didn't the Americans arm the underground station? It turns out they should have done a little more research on the Greenland ice cap. The Greenland ice sheet moves in a couple of ways. The ice flows under its own weight towards the coast, and it flows at different speeds in different places. But also the snow compacts down into glacial ice. Anywhere you are in the ice sheet, it's in a constant state of motion. U.S. Army engineers miscalculated how fast the ice sheet was moving. So by the late 1960s, Camp Century was starting to collapse. As the ice shifts, straight tunnels become curved, and the tunnels close in on each other as the snow is compacting. I think they realized pretty quickly that this environment was never going to be safe enough to house hundreds of nuclear warheads. With Camp Century having been abandoned over 50 years now, why are scientists camping out, keeping an eye on it? The answer is in how they abandoned the base. While the military removed the nuclear reactor, they left everything else, wrongly believing that the snow and ice would crush the remaining debris and safely entomb the toxic material forever. They left a lot of waste at Camp Century. They left behind huge caches of fuel. They left behind buildings full of PCBs and other construction materials. And they left behind all the coolant water from the nuclear reactor. It's all still there. So if and when Camp Century ever melts out, all those wastes that were left behind, all those toxins, will find their way through rivers and streams out to the coast where people live. Scientists continue to monitor the temperatures of the snow and ice, hoping to predict how the ice sheet will behave over the next century. At this point, it's anyone's guess. 